All right, we're back live with Zweihander in the in-between episode, I don't know, what are we at, eight or something, guys? Nine? Episode nine? The in-between? This could be it. This could be the finale, the big finish. Uh, unfortunately, we're banned down, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, we are dangerously close to the uh, to the end of this adventure. Let's do uh, let's do our round tables. Let's do a recap and let's get into it. Uh, Mike Ruby, you're up first on my overlay. Hi everybody, I'm Mike and I'm playing Ruby. She is a uh, halfling, uh, Bravo gutter snipe, and uh, struggles between pride and arrogance always wanting to get into a fight and prove her combat medal and uh, always looking for trouble. Yep. And I got, I got nothing going on. I'm just here to, to uh, be a gadfly on Matt's shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. Uh, all right. Oak slash Edmund. Hey, is Oak. You can catch me uh, most nights playing here on the Grim and Perilous channel, but on the weekends, late night, play some D and D five E homebrew stuff. I uh, also want to give a big shout out to Dustin. He raided me last night with like 19 people or some crap. Hell yeah. So that was pretty awesome. 19 people. <laughs> Boosting my stats. Nice. Thanks, Dustin. And uh, you can catch me uh, Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, all that stuff. Urience, U R A E N C E. And I'm playing Edmund Randolph tonight, a uh, extremely stealthy fat boy that's gained a penchant for one shotting stuff with his bow. And. Uh, at the moment, he's kind of quit giving a crap because we're in this kind of dream world thing, and his morality is kind of going out the window. Yeah, I think that started happening with everybody last session. I was going to mention that. That uh, yeah, I'm I'm going to be addressing that shortly. The the consequences of the real world are still taking place here because we handed out more corruption last week than we have ever handed out to this group in any session, probably com all together combined in the whole like year of us playing these characters. We handed yeah, that's the first time I've ever gotten. A, I went over. I had like eleven corruption. Yeah. At one point. This place is starting to affect. Oh, all so of me and you too. We, we, you or you and me both. We, we both had this <laughs> eleven yeah. corruption. At the end of it, what's, it was rough. what's the corruption record so far? That's got to be close to it. Uh, we'll uh, have to look at. But I think surprised. that. Uh, yeah, I think that's for us. Yeah, for us. first time for I've ever been highest. in a session where yeah, I've seen I think someone was... get a chaos rank in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah just... <laughs> Dustin or Chuck or somebody <laughs> wanted to hear. I think they said something like twenty or thirty one time. I don't know. That's rough. Wow, we need to try and beat that some point. Yeah, challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was in Terror and Trifo. That was in the game I was in. It's because we were talking to a demon, like, uh, but a really big, scary one, and we just had this super huge, long conversation. And complete, it was like I don't know. It was somehow way worse than this situation, even though it was similar in, in a lot of ways, obviously, because <laughs> the demon chat. But yeah, because demons. Because sure. demons. <laughs> That's yeah. what boils down to. All right, well, Leland, you're up next. Tell us about yourself in Vinswick. Uh, okay, I'm uh, Leland. Uh, play, uh, I'm also known as Leopold the Just on pretty much all of the platforms. Um, uh, social media consultant for a few different companies. But um, I just want to give a shout out to a game I'll be playing on um, Wednesdays coming soon uh, at 9 p.m. Central. It's going to be a... Uh, Ghosts of Saltmarsh D and D five E campaign on the Dark Galaxies Gaming. I'm gonna play. Yeah. I'm gonna basically combine my character's voice from this game with Bazio somehow. <laughs> I'm gonna try it, and I'm gonna play like a little goblin pirate brawler. It's it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's just gonna be like a high seas campaign. I'm really looking forward to it. We're getting art commissioned and everything. It's pretty cool. Um, but uh, other than that, I'm in this game, I'm playing um, Vinswick, the uh, racketeer slash demagogue. Um, he is a nasty little bastard with a wooden leg and a husky build and crooked teeth, black hair, blue <laughs> eyes. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty, pretty much about it. Just beat, hits people in the knees with a, with a scepter. That's right. That's about it. And finally, we have Bill playing Erg Singe Belch. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm Bill. I'm playing Erg. I am the lovable, horribly uh, stupid ogre who happens to be our caster. Uh, he is 
balancing between ferociousness and hatred and leaning towards hatred now. So he's going to be even that much more, um, we'll say annoying for the party to have to deal with. I feel like they have to put up with a lot of his crap. Uh, he is a dunderhead. So a couple times every session, I roll a four sided dice. If it comes up one or two, he does not act like a fool. If it comes up three or four, he does. So yeah, looking forward to this game and wrapping up this, uh, <laughs> the in between. The adventure has been really good. All right. So speaking yeah. of the adventure, let's do a recap. What happened last week? I'll start you off. You woke up in a dark place. You're in coffins. You're buried alive when the session started. You need to burst, bust your way out. Or burst also. You were doing a version of the Christmas Carol. Yeah, kind of. Kind of, yeah. We, and uh, we started in Ghosts of uh, Christmas yeah, we... Past. What was, <laughs> what's her name, Andrea? Anna, Annabella. 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 So we went into Annabella's past when she was yeah. a little bitty baby girl, but about what six years old yeah and her parents had disappeared uh we came to find out they were in the basement had gone up in a uh puff of smoke trying to yeah. use dark magic to bring some horrible demon uh <laughs> to to the plane of existence there was a magic circle that had uh, been carved out onto the floor her uncle had been possessed by a demon that we thought we killed but then showed up and we had a fight with him in the basement yeah and i th we i think resolved some dark issue uh at that stage of her life and i think we're trying to unlock different things that are keeping annabella tied to this world and she so that she can move on and we can somehow unlock the uh the thing that's been frozen in time here that has to do with the uh, the well of souls or something eternity well of eternity and uh there's a couple demigods stuck here too the the um pan the the piper dude who the uh, dark musician yep he plays the dark pan musician. flute he's just like a, a living skeleton that appears at uh times where it's advantageous for you guys and he usually helps you out and points you in the right direction yeah so he's well he's pointing he's kind of he's uh guiding us along here trying to get us to um deal with these issues because i guess you won't go to therapy uh, so, um, well, it's true. So you guys are, are, are locked away in an area of her psyche of things she doesn't want to deal with. These are things from her past and she doesn't want to deal with them. So you're in there. The dark musician's in there. A little demon by the name of Tobias that she made a deal with is in there. It's crowded. Her uncle. Yeah. Uh, you met a figure at the end of the adventure last week that you tried to stab. A, right. a, and, and a husband to be. Ruby's approach now. She just wants to thin the herd. <laughs> She yeah. figures if she kills everything she meets, then sooner or later we'll eliminate all her problems. <laughs> They're all demons. Yeah. Uh, anybody else want to interject and put some stuff in there that uh, that Mike Mike did a very good job of recapping. I'm not saying that he uh, he didn't, but does anybody want to add anything to what happened last week? If I remember correctly, um, it was I believe Edmund who slit a throat very quickly when we met one, we'll say yeah. dream character, and yeah, that was the Ruby. Uncle. Yeah, and Ruby, who almost immediately in the next part went to stab yet another dream character. Well, I didn't want Edmund um, to beat beat me out. I mean, you know, he <laughs> killed, killed the other one so fast. Not to be shown up. That's right. We no, I mean, I, I love the enthusiasm. <laughs> well, All the right. dream characters. So, yeah. It's a dream know. world. This ain't real. I think we should be getting half corruption for all these murders. <laughs> half, half corruption. Corrupt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a thing. <laughs> uh, you encountered her when she was a young girl. Um, she was living alone in her house. Her parents were dead. You then were swept away and then thrown back into another phase of her life. She's now in her teenage years. And she has been um, wed to a horrible man. A horrible, horrible man who mistreats er, her. Er, er, early teenage years, I early would Early like teenage to years. Yeah. And, yeah, like twelve. Uh, you met him creepy. immediately. You and uh, you tried to stab him, and he ran to his house, and that's where we left off. And him screaming, "Guards, guards, get over here!" Yes, and Tobias leading us away. And Tobias going, right. "Ah, let's get out of here." So, as we're running away, do you mind if uh, Erg says something to Ruby and Edmund? <laughs> no, go ahead. I, as I said, I love the enthusiasm, guys, but. Uh, could we please ask these dream people questions before we stab them? I, I feel like 
maybe we could get some more information out of the out of the characters that are alive. I'm not saying don't stab them. Like by all means, just let's ask a couple questions first. Okay, R- R- Ruby stops and, and and looks at you and says, uh, "Are you feeling all right?" <laughs> hey, he knows I, bleeding there a little bit. That was that was. Uh, she's a little suspicious. We got a that, yet? that was the most eloquent he's ever been. <laughs> It is the most eloquent. I'm not. I'm not saying don't stab anybody. <laughs> Just let's let's ask questions first. Erg, is that you? All right. R- Ruby's a little suspicious now. Thinks maybe Erg's been possessed. So but with- she, she she nods. I mean, if uh, I'd hate to be in a situation Sad where her. you guys have to wake up on fire in a few days. She furrows her brow at that. Had to throw some <laughs> erg nonsense in there. Something rather threatening. All right. <laughs> you guys are going to kill each other before this, uh, before we even get to the end of this module. So when erg, you start erg, hearing erg's shouting. taking a turn. And Gregor turns and hurries into the house and they're shouting. As you guys start to take off, the shutters on one of the windows opens up and you see a familiar head poke out and it's that of Annabella's. And she recognizes a group of you. I'm so. What are you doing here? I'm so. I'm so happy to see you, my friends. What? What's all the yelling about? Oh, he's looking for you. For me? Why? Hadn't seen you in a while. Well, well what's all this shouting? Why? I, I heard Gregor coming here in a huff, and they're shouting for guards. We were just. Oh, Ruby tried to kill him. That's all. Well, I was just trying he to. He's a good killing. I was communicating with him. Why well, treat you? Uh, she 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 goes to a hush whisper. You can hear like crashing and banging around inside the house. She she lowers her voice. She goes, "Come come come to the back door, and I'll I'll, I'll let you in." Oh, I, okay. I don't want Gregor to know though. Just be be quiet. Ruby says ah, quietly. She says, ah, "We can kill him in private. This is perfect." I'll smash his damn head in. <laughs> <laughs> but first, we'll ask questions, and then we'll kill him. All right. I'm not saying no stabbing. So I like asking questions. There's commotion and, and yelling in the streets of the small village, and people are shouting for guards and this and that. And you guys make your way to the back of the house, and standing there is Annabella. You recognize her? She's in her her late teens. Um, I think you noticed this last week as well, but she's got a there's a mark under her eye, and looks like there's some makeup put over it to kind of cover it up. And uh, she looks she looks pretty worn down, but she's she's welcoming to see you. She's my goodness, it's so, I'm so, I, I can't believe that I've run into you again. It looks like you haven't aged a day. Yeah, we got good connections at the apothecary for skincare products. <laughs> she, uh, she lunges forward and gives, uh... We saw you earlier today. <laughs> what? Where? Out in front uh, of your house. You were little. Little. Out in front of your house, your uh, oh, shut up. husband don't, don't was being. To him. Uh, don't listen to him. Your husband was yelling at you. Uh, yes, uh, Gregor. He's um. Yeah, he's he's he looks after me, but um. You said she has a black eye. Yeah, she's got a black eye. What have you eye there? Um. Yeah. What? And she pulls up a shawl and she kind of tries to cover it up. Annabella, would you say he's um somewhat unresolved in your mind right now? <laughs> I I I don't know what you mean. See, he rough you up a bit. You. Yeah, we'll yeah. take care of that for you. Yeah, like yeah. I said, we're gonna kill him. Yeah, yeah, he he did, and she kind of lunges forward and she gives you a, 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 an embrace there, Edmund. And yeah, you kind of yeah, feel bro. like a weight lift off her shoulders when you, you when you offer that up. Hey, hey, he ain't gonna hurt you no more. Hey, Call come him on. in here. Hey, come on down here, give me a hug too now. Okay. Sure. Like... Everybody gathers around for a group hug. Uh, and when she and when she gives me a hug, I just kind of take in her her embrace. Uh, like if, like if, I haven't if... had one of these in a while. Like a sincere hug. R- like, Ruby oh, Ruby kind of... pokes him with with uh, her main gouge. If he holds it, the hug more than four seconds. <laughs> no, he does hold it. He does hold it a little bit longer. All but right, not so for like we'll, any sort of weird reasons. Well, but once, like, once he like goes once he goes past what reasons. Ruby thinks is appropriate. He gets a little poke in the ass with the, with the uh, main <laughs> gouge. Oh, you Rule damage. To yourself. All right. <laughs> poke. Nothing, nothing All right. serious. All right. All right. Sorry. So what sorry. was his reasoning for roughing you up? What he said was a problem. 
this doesn't matter what I do. It's just, he, he's, he's just, he's angry all the time. I, I Listen, he found, he found some, he found some shards of witch stone in the basement of my parents' house. And I, I think that's why he married me is he heard that there was, there was treasure down there and he's been using it to, to turn it into tinctures. And he's, he's, he's grown a, a small business selling these tinctures. Um, but he's, he's using them himself and he's, he's out of control. Is this the same house? This is the same house. She's in her parents' house again. Is this ultimately where the where the Witchstone Tower gets built? <laughs> I hear that stuff's dangerous. Well, it, stop it, it would make sense that maybe this is why maybe this is um, why everything's happening here because the Witchstone was here to begin with. Yeah, All this talk of possible. Witchstone has Erg holding his bag tightly and trying to break off pieces of his giant piece of witch stone to hide in various pockets. <laughs> she maybe says, we've got uh, to gather them all from... I kind of look at everybody else and quietly, uh, maybe we've got to gather all the witch stone from the times. This might be possible. Hey, uh, can you get him distracted out of the house and show us to the basement uh, and we'll look around? Yeah, I can, I can try, but um, Pike Pike is supposed to be coming today. He made a, he made a, he made a bad deal with Pike and he oversold on tinctures and he's he, uh, rumor is he's coming to collect today that's why Gregor's on even more edge than usual well it sounds like Pike will take care of him let's make sure he's got enough in here to give him and your problems are solved okay um yeah yeah and she opens the door and, and and like waves you in inside you can see the house is a disaster when you're here before it was it was actually quite clean and immaculate uh you can see there's a thin curtain that's just tattered and stained that's that's separating the room you're in and the room on the other side and like as soon as you step in the smell of like filth and boiling chemicals just just punches you in the nose and ass. um you can see a trail of blood leading across the floor and towards the cellar that you guys went in last time here we go again, lads. <laughs> Ruby, once are, more uh, into the breach. Where is he? Uh, where is he right now? He's, he's, just in the, he's in the other room. You can hear him kind of like clanging and battering around in the other room and cursing uh, on the other side of the uh, the other side of the the curtain that's just separating the two rooms. She goes, Shh, "Quiet, quiet. We don't we don't want to learn that you're here. We should take him by surprise." How soon till his friend gets here? I don't know. I don't know when Pike's going to arrive. We, we, we must ask, act quick. What kind of tinctures has he been taking? Is his meat poison? <laughs> what? <laughs> she, she says, what? What are you talking about? Well, if, if, uh, if an ogre were to eat him, would the ogre get sick? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, with that, all of a sudden, the, uh, the, the sheet swings aside and a wave of profanities is thrown your way you see gregor standing there with a blunderbuss pointing your direction what the hell are you letting them in my house girl you're gonna pay for this nah she's trying to get you help we're here to take care of pike we're gonna work this out for you what i'd like to cast cack handed grasp okay <laughs> please do <laughs> for those of you who are watching who do not know what cack handed grasp does the most overused, overpowered, petty magic spell in the game. What'd you get? Oh, you passed. So he instantly drops his uh, his blunderbuss just out of reach. It flies out of his hands magically. Ah, what the hell? What kind of witchery is this? And he stands with his hands up. Ah, don't, don't kill me. Don't kill me. I, I have, I have tinctures I can sell you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got tinctures. I pick up the blunderbuss. Hey, tell me where the tinctures are then. Uh, down in the basement. The down, yeah, why don't you go? Why don't you go down the stairs? Go down to the basement. Uh, Le well, Ruby we says, don't "Need you no more than do we?" Well, yeah, Ruby says, like he needs "No, no, lead. lead the way." Ruby says, and she points to the basement with her um, uh, court sword. Oh, 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 I'm gonna pick up the blunderbuss and try to point it at him. So you get the blunderbuss. He puts his hands up. Goes, "Time." Listen, it's it's her fault. It's 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 her fault. He points to Annabella. He talks about this yellow stone in her dreams. It's all her fault. I curse her. I should have ever married her. Right. Well, let's go ahead and head downstairs, Ruby says again. Uh, let's do it. Fine. You go Go ahead. Open the door and get down, get down there. I know. Ruby will uh, just kind of guide him down with the point of a sword. Sure. You swing first. open the cellar. 
and he's up there first as you're sitting there talking and he starts to lead down the stairs annabella suddenly grabs a knife from the kitchen and rushes at him and in one swift movement she drives it into the back of his neck i just start chuckling there you go girl his hands go up and he starts flailing on the spot trying to stop her He's throwing his hands behind her, and he starts slipping on the blood, and he falls down the stairs into the into the uh, the basement with the blade stuck in the back of his neck, and she just stands over him, blinking. Oh, and he's like he fire in her eyes, and she doesn't even like look at the rest of you. She's just staring at his corpse at the bottom of the basement stairs. Good nice. on you, girl. What a nice host. Good on you. Welcoming sounds, and makes a meal. Sounds like uh, closure to me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, we want to get down. We want to probably get hustle downstairs and see what tinctures are available for the taking. Let's get them. That's right. Dustin's here. Kill them all and let the gods start them out. Yeah, or the demons. Well, with that, <laughs> you hear knock, 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 knock at the door. Open up, Gregor. I'm here for what you owe me. Quit your stalling. Ooh, gonna, can I open I'm the door? I'm going to go answer. Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Annabelle goes, she snaps up and goes, it's Pike. It's Pike. He's here. Yeah, well, you go in the back I'll, room, girl. You me, sold this house to us. Let me talk to him. My kind of person, probably. We, we'll speak the same language. You go hide in the back room, girl. Yeah, good idea. She, uh, she, she, yeah, she, she agrees. She sits in the back room, and you guys go to the front room again. You, the room, the the whole place is just filthy. There's just furniture everywhere. It's in shambles. There's just filth strewn about. Again, uh-huh. you hear the knocking. Open up, Gregor! Give me what's I'm gonna, mine! I'm gonna open the door with... with well, uh, before leaving. we do that, is there anything outside the window that we can see? <laughs> outside the window, you see a rather large, uh, angry-looking bald man flanked by uh, two other uh, nefarious-looking fellas. Okay, so there's three of them. There's and, three and of them we- out there. Weapons? I'm, I'm gonna oh, get yeah, behind that sheet that he threw done. open. I'm okay. gonna hide back there at the blunderbuss. Okay. Oh yeah. Guys, yeah, they, we they can welcome have... him in and just burn the place down with him in it. <laughs> I'm gonna. What? All right. Go ahead. I, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. No, and it's okay. Th- blow the door open if you want. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I, I was in character the when I got frustrated when you interrupted me. It wasn't actually me. I was like, Arr. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean. <laughs> no, to. no, no. It's okay. Uh, but um. All right. So I'm gonna go. And it's, I imagine like Ruby even like stops me from coming up the door, and I just like look at her. Yeah, like, she just like <laughs> peeks out the window, and then she says, throws up. There's three of them, and waves you there. All right, so I'm gonna go and um, just open the door like very jovially, like, oh yeah, how's it going? You swing open the door, and you see those 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 three characters, and he goes, "Who the hell are you? Where's Gregor?" Says the one in front, the big bald one. Hi. Right. Well, Gregor. Happened to owe me something too, so, and he didn't want to pay up, so we took care of him downstairs. You, you want me to roll guile? I got two ranks. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and make me a challenging guile roll. <laughs> you want me to roll right. guile? I'll do guile all day long. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, perfect. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Like a for oh, days. Hell, uh, crit, crit fail. fail. Crit fail. <laughs> no! Oh. No! Oh. Uh, all right, hold on. No, I might have a talent that keeps me from crit failing. Huh? I think I do. Let me, let me make sure. Were you, was he supposed to roll it at uh, challenging? Uh, uh, oh, oh, I know, but I might have something. No. I did roll it at challenging. Uh, that was minus 10%. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's oh. going to be challenging. Challenging is correct. Okay, yeah, so it's only... Man, that sucks. It's only... Um, folklore and intimidates that i get to re-roll <laughs> i was gonna say crit fail. fails usually stand crit f- yeah <laughs> but yeah for uh, uh, definitely for this skill uh yeah that sucks unless i'm a unless i'm a fop then i then i can't crit fail skill checks which is the most op thing ever you start to stress <laughs> and you're like oh shit this guy's seeing right through me uh and i you're, oh that's it i was gonna give you peril i rolled three three peril does that go anywhere on your track um oh <clears throat> no oh. If it's is it equal to or or is it more three for your base? Are you? Oh no, that's my damage threshold. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, (laughs) no, we're good. We're good. I rolled terrible. (laughs) You start to sweat and panic. You're like, "Uh, uh," and you start to stumble on your words, and he just pushes you inside the room. Goes, get the hell out of my way, little man. And he want he barges in, and so does his two goons. (laughs) Who the hell are you? He looks around the room and he sees Ruby and he sees Erg. 
What happened to my camera? Hold on a second. Oh, oh Edmund's on the other side of the the sheet. Where's Gregor? Uh, Ruby, Ruby's back a bit. She has her crossbow uh, in in one hand, ready to go. Listen, we don't know who Court you are, other. but if we have to, we'll go right through. And he pulls a, out a stiletto. Give us the goods, and nobody gets hurt. I'm casting cack handed grasp. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it, I may have so messed much. the overlay up, by the way. I may have, I think I accidentally hit like it's a, it's a hot key. Or uh, it still looks good. Okay, all right. Thanks. Oh, um, oh, failure! So you put your nothing happens. Some, some butter and nothing <laughs> happens. You're kind of like that's, oh? that's a great fail. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so no, no, no. You put your hand in the butter though, but nothing happens. Not, 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 not. Your hands are oh, yeah, weeping no. butter. No, no, no. I wasn't going there. <laughs> You're just kind of like, huh? And he's just got to sell. He's like, what are you doing with your hand in your pocket, big boy? And he waves the stiletto to your face. Where's Gregor? Hey, hey, get, Who are get you? Get that knife out of We killed face. him. We killed him, okay? We killed him. You killed him? Yeah, he's straight Are you dead. here for the tinctures that he owes me? Those you are can mine. take him. Just take him. Go on down there. <laughs> we had other business with him. Get out of the house, then. Wait. I don't know who you are, and I don't trust you. Get out. Wait. We're going to oh, take the girl. Are there, are there standing just like within just within the doorway? Girls out. They've stepped into the house now. Yep. All of them? Everything's in the basement. You guys can go into the basement. Yeah, we'll get out of, of the house. Why don't we all leave the house, guys? All of them. Loot in the girl, right? Where'd she go? Yep. Everybody out of the house. Here. Let them go to the basement and get the tinctures. All right. Well, Ruby knows what's going to happen next. So she goes ahead and leaves <laughs> the house. She's going to burn the house? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she starts laughing as she walks out. She says, uh, "She says to the three, I see a, I see a, a bright future for you.' Yeah, very bright. Stay warm, boys." Uh, Tobias, Tobias pokes his head up over the shoulder of Urg, who he's been riding on. He goes, ah, ah, we shouldn't burn this place down. Uh, there might be something in the basement. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be stuck here for another four hundred years." Well, why don't you just sneak on down there and get it then? So how far apart are my guys versus these guys? Like a peek, or just peek through? If there's maybe a tear you peek in the through. Shoot. So the the main guy Pike, he's standing in front of Erg, like right in front of Erg, waving his stiletto in his face. So you couldn't get a shot on him, but you can get a clear shot on one of the two goons. Well, no, it's a, a uh, oh yeah, it's a it's a it's a it's a, a cone, right? Yeah, you could probably it, stick it under um, Erg's uh, shoulder, like under his arm, and just shoot shoot uh, past him. I forgot a blunderbuss is like a cone. Because isn't Erg's back right to the curtain, pretty much? Quality is yes. gunpowder, shrapnel, volatile, and weak. Yeah. yeah um, <laughs> shoot your uh, Ru- in the back. Ruby's in a, Ruby's in a corner uh, with her uh, sword in one hand and her crossbow in the other. Okay. Get out of the house, and we'll claim our goods. That's why it's... Uh, uh, yeah, we should uh, do that, but don't don't burn down the house. I'm, I'm gonna look. At, at, so are they within talking distance? I was still obviously. If oh yeah, yeah. You guys are all in the same gonna, room. Okay, it's I'm gonna tense. look at him and I'm gonna say, um, "You better watch your damn tone. We're not very nice people to tussle with." Now, like, you, you think, is there where I can get a? Could I get a shot at like, his group in the cone and Miss Erg? That no. Was, uh, that was in my initiative roll, by the way, in case you were wondering. Uh, uh, can I roll an intimidate <laughs> check to try and do, get uh, some yes, peril can, damage to him? You can roll an intimidate check. Um, Which uh, difficulty? <laughs> we're going to do this. You've already failed with your guile, so it's not yeah. going to help you much here. So it'll be hard intimidate. Okay, that's fine. And then I will. I can actually re-roll intimidates if they fail. Should have led with that one. So I know, I know. <laughs> I know. I like how guys. Ruby's already rolling initiative. Let's get the initiative tracker open, I guess. Okay, wow. All right, I'm going to re-roll it. No, we don't have a bar shot. All right, a 17 out of 29. I passed. And does he so, get to roll a resolve, or is it... Uh, uh, let, me, let me see. Like, okay, what do you... So I, I get to do um, damage to him. Okay, so whenever I succeed on an intimidate test i inflict a d10 plus one per- mental peril and because it is uh or no intimidate is brawn based never mind it's not fellowship i was gonna say but i can still <clears throat> let's see i can still affect uh he rolled an 18 for his result matt just rolled an 18 you didn't do anything 
Uh, do I? Does he get? Does he have to roll resolve? Uh, if you're okay, just doing yeah, the straight intimidate, resolve. he, uh, he yeah, rolled okay. resolve to resist it. He goes, get the hell out of this house before I kill all of you. Okay, at this you. point, I just, sense. like, <laughs> come out from behind the uh, the curtain with the blunderbuss pointed and ready to shoot. <laughs> like, oh, kill every last fucking one of you if you don't fucking <laughs> leave. Guys I'm going crazy. to doing a uh, litany of hatred. Uh, all right. I love that one. Throw up his hands. All of them are just like, oh. And, um... I'll give that to you as a surprise round, but we might as well get ready for combat here if this is the direction it's going. Yeah. Uh, I see some of you already plugged your your initiatives into the initiative tracker. You know the uh, the, the scene in Pulp Fiction when they're in the diner yeah, and she. I <coughs> oh, I she know. Up, I'll execute every last fucking one of you. <laughs> Can I? Um. Yes. <laughs> uh, it was also... well delivered, Oak. We all got the reference. All right. Oh yeah. When my turn comes around, I'll try and do a leadership test, guys, to try and get our um peril threshold up to do the aspiring aspiring words okay so oh i need to roll initiative on a hot dog hot dog in the morning d10 plus seven who rolled the strangers on our uh screen i did the strangers the bad guys oh they the bad guys the bad guys all right can you bring me up an initiative chart just to just a touch Whenever you get a chance. Yep. Sorry. I'd, there it's we go. A second to roll. All right. <laughs> so I'll let you open it up as a as a surprise with your litany of hatred or whatever you're trying, and then we can go into full combat. Okay. Does so... that mean Oak is attacking twice and then gets his first round? Essentially, I'm giving him surprise. He did. He does have the jump on, on everybody. I, it's on it's shot totally really fair. first. Yeah, Han shot really first. Um, Han shot first and second and third. <laughs> He does. He does well, Han. So, okay. so um, he does well for himself. <laughs> is that this the, is the uh, one I get to use my fellowship? Yeah, I'm unarmed, so I've got an easy test to make. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna roll uh, my charm skill because it's got no ranks. Is unarmed? You're not unarmed. You've got a gun in your unharmed. Hands. Oh, it's oh, like you're holding a blunderbuss. <laughs> I was gonna say. No, I'm unharmed. <laughs> I heard it too, Mike. Okay. You're not the only one. Okay, All right. So, that's, so you cast, that's... what was it? Litany of Hatred? Or cast one? You know what I mean. Yes, but, uh, see. When uh, successful, it's always considered a critical success. Uh, so here's the one where we're going to get 2d10 plus 5 peril. <laughs> yeah, he's even better at it than uh... me. Shit. All right, do it. You it's could rough. shut these guys down right here. I'm going to try to help, too, on my turn. Shit. Yeah, yeah, add to it. Yeah, I do more peril damage. Two more damage? <clears throat> if they're still up. So 2d10 plus... Oh, oh. it's not bad. How much... Um, it's below ha average. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, let's see, if successful, foes equal to my fellowship bonus, which is seven. So all of them. Are intimidated. Uh, while intimidated, they temporarily suffer minus one to their damage and peril thresholds. If my test is critical, which it always is, if I succeed, they move one step down the peril track negatively, so they're already minus one. And they on suffer. top of what they've already lost. Yes. Ooh. Well, now it's, I would say that's initial that they automatically drop one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at sure. you. These guys uh, uh, both suffer minus one penalty till the end of combat or until inspired. These We're guys dead. are sweating. You jumped in, threatening, waving around that blunderbuss, throwing out your your threats, and um, it's definitely had an effect on them. And they're like, they're surprised. They whip around, and there's like, oh, they got their, they don't know. They're looking at you guys in the room who are with them. They're looking at the guy at the blunderbuss, and um, they are they're definitely sweating there. They were not expecting this ambush. So now we'll go back to you again because you'll get you have Han shot first. Okay, so now I've got three AP. Is is there any of them that are? Uh, well, let's see. I'll let you shoot. That's it. It's the one two. yard start, five <clears> yards <throat> widest, sixteen yards long. So can I maneuver like to beside Erg and like blast them out the door? Uh. 
Because Lenny um, Hatred's one eighty. Not, not without hitting somebody. You're gonna hit somebody no matter what. You're in a small house. You're not I'm okay. you're not gonna be able to maneuver without hitting someone friendly. Because you've got Ruby on one end, you've got like standing in a corner, you got Erg standing there in front of the bad guy, you've got Vince who's somewhat near the door still, I'm gonna say, because he never really moved from there. So everybody's kind of in a different area of this small room. So no matter which way you swing it, you're gonna hit one of your guys. Um, if you try to get all three, I'll let you get the two goons, but not um, not Pike. Without... That's fine. Take take those two. two oh no, yeah, that's fine. Without if hitting can... any of your without it hitting any of your friendlies. Okay, yeah. Then I'm just going to uh, on shot first those two assholes. Yeah, and uh... then you can you can get to, you get anybody that's <laughs> oh, left yeah. on your next turn before we all go. Yeah. So then that's going to I'm going to take uh... throws the blunderbuss aside and two. I'm going to take two to aim to make sure I get a bonus on this. Because I get three AP to spend and then one to shoot. Blunder bus. Which I don't have coded. Wait, no, I may not be able to use that. Is that a martial range? I believe it is. Because I'm not trained in a martial range. <laughs> You're going to call your bluff? You could shoot it. You're just not going to shoot very well. No, I've got to flip, flip to fail, fail though. And, it, <laughs> and it's, it's, it's gunpowder. Volatile and all that <laughs> stuff. He does. He really doesn't want to. Don't mind. I'm just flipping to it here. And if somebody has it open in front of them sooner than me, I'm it's not on the look. GM screen. What? Uh, which one it falls under? Uh, what, what are we looking at? Volatile? No. Um, no blunderbuss. Blunderbuss. What? Oh, what weapon type is it? It's a. It's a gun. It's ranged. Well, yeah, no, but there's the guns could fall into both. I think it. I think it's actually simple. It is simple ranged. It is. I'm looking it takes right now. A lot Page of... 223. Simple yeah, it range. It blunderbuss. It's, it's not exactly a complicated weapon. Yeah, yeah you just kind of point down. and shoot. Thanks, Jeff. Okay, yep. sweet. So, yeah. So, I've shoot got... it, but we're going to see. you got a whole lot of things you need to worry about. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, okay. So, I'm aiming. So, there's plus 20 there. Yeah, yeah. And then I guess <laughs> I'll just roll my simple mate. No, I don't have it coded. Simple inch. ranged. Just simple roll range. that with, with the... Um, with the plus 20 on there would ask you for modifier. Jeez, that thing's worth 13 gold. Oh, <laughs> you have one Do fortune have... point. Do you want to spend it? Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to reroll that. You have a good chance of passing. God this. damn it. Holy shit. It was worse. <laughs> no. At least it wasn't a critical. Yeah. Well, damn, everything was going all cool, and then I have to the dice have to screw me. Well, one more round of litany of hatred on these guys for me. Hopefully, I'll pass. And might get some of them. Of course, see. even even missing, even not hitting, being a range, I mean, a a cone, doesn't that still almost hit? Yeah. No, unfortunately, you you run in there, you're aiming, you're shouting the heat of the moment, you fire, and it hits up at the ceiling. We'll say. Blows the door frame out. <clears throat> so Watch you critically fail. Thank goodness, right? No, no, no he, he didn't. Thank goodness. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're not buying it. That wasn't sincere. Uh, was so we'll jump to Ruby now. Ruby, you've got a guy near you. There's one near the uh, door near Vince, and there's the there's Pike who is near uh, who's near Erg in this small. I'll get, I'm gonna shoot at Pike. I mean, yeah, sure. We, why not? Shoot at the boss. Okay, shoot the boss. Right, two to aim, one to uh, one to fire, um, one in the bag for um, parry. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna. That'll be a um, <clears throat> easy. Or actually, one to aim and then one for extra damage. Just stretch this encounter out so you can have one more session, and and Barsh will be here. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Here we go. And. Set right. There's an extra die damage on this. Okay. Oh. Oh, it goes wide. It Fire. does. Thunk, and it, it boom finds itself in the wall on the other side of Pike. What the hell? Erg, you've got Pike in front of you waving his stiletto in your face. <laughs> well, wait, wait, we're going to do. He yells about the missed crossbow, but the blunderbuss doesn't elicit any kind yeah. of. <laughs> No, the blunderbuss that's shot right next to him. Yeah, Boom. yeah. here's uh, here's Reagan. All right, she's just gonna get ready for a, a fist fight. 
third time cack handed grass tonight. <laughs> Keep oh. it up. Is there no limit to the number of times you can cast a spell? No, it's just the danger. You're you're basically regulated by the danger of the of uh, yeah of, of casting it, and all. yeah, it, it's it's a risk every time, Mike. It can take me out of the game pretty much completely, even at this low level spell. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've been taken out of the game by you know rolling a charm before, so. <laughs> Uh, all right, so it wasn't a critical so, yeah. success, but it was a success, success. So his stiletto <laughs> flies out of his hand and past you. I'm going to say it lands on the ground behind you because it's just out of reach. So it's going to slide on the floor sh- on the other side of you. This will, take you. this will take you back a little bit. I'm going to try and mash him with my staff. Oh, wow. We haven't seen this in a while. When this hits, wow. it usually does big damage because his your bronze, strength bonus stupid. Yeah, as an as a sickly ogre. We don't say stupid. That's judgmental. We say dunderhead. Dunder. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, that hits. 58. No, it just... Uh, oh, look at that. He wanted to 26 oh. damage. Oh, my oh. God. Oh. This guy never attacks the staff. Oh, it, it exploded twice. I'm hovering over it. All right. Yep. Oh, oh my God. That would have been a hell of a hit. You should have, like, uh, aimed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I want to keep one for um, Perry. Smart. Yeah, okay. Right. Gotcha. Even uh, though the guy in front of me has no weapon. 26 yeah. damage is one i'm gonna tell you this right now you would have you would have just about killed this guy you just like wiped him out one hit uh that's insane um edmund we're back to you so you've got empty blunder bus i just drop it just to and uh I'm, that's fine I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna charge you an ap for that but to draw another weapon like that right an ap let me see if i got a dirty trick or something i want to do real quick can you um yell at him again you can do that once per combat. Give inspiring uh, words. Are yeah. you, are you, are I would, you? That would be awesome. I'd just drop them in a matter of rounds. Just could you keep, do inspiring keep words. Hazing him. I do not. I'm not trained in leadership. Okay. All right. I can. Oh. I will actually try and do both of those and then whack the guy. This is my action. So. Um. <laughs> These guys actually have huge negatives to when they have to roll, though, because of the <clears> amount of peril they took. I will say that. Yeah. They took a lot of peril. I'm just staring at that 26 damage and we're miss. That's sad. Okay, I'm going to do a uh, spin one dirty trick. Try. I'm going to throw some pocket sand. <laughs> I love a good pocket <laughs> sand. Uh, yeah. At, at the dude oh, in yes. front of Erg. Uh, so uh, I need to make a gall pest. <laughs> pocket old sand. Sandy, old sandy pockets. That's what they call them in prison. <laughs> <laughs> I get to resist with awareness. Which prison was that? It doesn't that? matter. I, I, I failed. <laughs> prison that's, of the mind. That's one AP. <laughs> one AP for pocket sand. You got two AP left. Do you want to draw a weapon yeah. and attack them? Um, I wonder if they let you play role playing games in prison. They do. I've, Some I saw. of them. Really? Yeah, they do. Yeah. yeah. You, you're not allowed to have dice, though, so you have to use it, cards with numbers cards, on yeah. them and pull it. You guys know a lot about this. So I try to throw the pocket sand and miss. I just get pissed off and I'm I've and heard I lash out with my foot and right try to kick him in the balls for a stunning <laughs> blow. Stunning blow, all right. Damn, he's doing some cool stuff. Ninja Edmund over here. Oh, no, I'm trying to do cool stuff. That's the hint is I'm trying. I'm Athletics not actually. Athletics test, and the foe gets to resist with toughness or be stunned. I missed by one. By oh, one. Fuck. By one. Oh, Dice Jesus are screwing up my cool moves tonight, bro. <laughs> this game, the dice, dice. are cursed. Are yeah, you saving I'm, I'm your saving last AP? I want my last AP for uh <sighs> Robert Vinny. Vinny, you're up. Vinny Wick. All right. Vin Vinny. Wick. <laughs> Vin Wick. <laughs> so uh Vin hopefully I can go Vin Wick on these guys here in a second. No, I'm just kidding. Uh he 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 was not a man of words, <laughs> which I'm about to try and be. Um I'm gonna first things first, I'm gonna say um I'm getting real tired of you talking about my height. Now let me knock you down to my size. <laughs> and and I, I want to have that first be a litany of hatred. Okay. Yeah, yeah, combined yeah. Combined with an attack, sort of, like, kind of at the same time. Um, all right. So I want to make an intimidate check, sir. Uh, <clears throat> now you will be at plus 20 because you were unharmed, not armed. Oh, plus 20. That. All right, thank you. Oak, Oak did some Oak reading. We're just gonna, like, we're really just gonna verbally bully these guys <laughs> in the mush. <laughs> verbally assault them. All right, sorry. We're, we're just the mean kids. 
right. you imagine like make a group of characters that have that yes. and everybody just go around and just berate nice. everybody so they make a what is it uh <laughs> they make a they don't no. get to resist no okay so mb yeah so it's equal to my fb and because it's based on fellowship actually it's actually any number of people but <laughs> because of my demagogue ability mm -hmm. but anyway so I could just like intimidate a whole crowd. So you took them down another point in their damage oh. and peril threat. Well, if, if I rolled, I got to roll uh, D. I also roll a... Uh... Okay, so I took them down another point. It automatically takes I... them... Well, if it's a critical, it automatically takes them down one rank. Okay, yes. And I also have a D10 plus one. So I'm just going to roll the D10. So ooh, oh. 11, 11 peril damage because 11 of my, peril? Uh, yeah, 11 peril. I rolled right. a I rolled a d10. I, I didn't do the plus one in it because I just used the advanced. Bear roll, with so. me here. Let me just quickly check the peril. On Jeez, these guys. guys, I should have done that. I'll intimidate as well. Wow. Yeah, I've got. How much man, did you? I, sorry, eleven. Eleven. Yeah, because I've got menacing demeanor. Whenever I succeed on an intimidate test, I inflict a d10 plus one mental peril. They so all are three of at, them take eleven. They are at inc incapacitated for peril. <laughs> they drop their weapons and they just like look around the room and they're like. We'll be back. We'll be back for you. We'll be back for Gregor. And they start to Ruby try, shut try to the leave. door. Yeah, you I can try to stop out for, I call yeah, Ruby's, out for Ruby's being gonna, racist. Ruby's gonna, they... oh. Ruby's gonna leap to shut the door. K Squiff, <laughs> Squiff, so K is raiding us with eighteen people. Hello, oh, everybody. Duff. Raid and D Duff's here too. I just called out three douchebags for being racist against gnomes and yeah. caused them to run away. These I'm guys so just proud. Beat, these guys just beat a <laughs> combat with words. That just happened. <laughs> words is weapons. Well, God knows we can't beat with our weapons. So yeah, not, yeah, yeah. not today. Yeah, right, Ruby's going to try and get the door closed before they yeah, get out of I'll it. I'll let you guys, because they're incapacitated. Like, they can still act, but everything they do is a fail, right? So like they can try to mm. bumble their way out of there. They're... they're um, they're yeah. distracted, so and yeah, you slam the door. Hello, hello, everybody! Thank you for the raid. Welcome. We're destroying. We'll get two we're destroying left. bad guys with words. Yeah. Do I still have my turn? My two action points left. Yeah, yeah. You still have your okay. action points. I'm gonna say awesome. we're dropping out of combat. If you guys like, you, you guys have the advantage here. <laughs> what do you think, Edmund? Okay, so basically, what do you think, I would Edmund? like to just hit them in the back of each of their kneecaps to knock them to the ground, and then get my friends over to help bust them and tie them up. Ruby says, are we killing now? Yeah, Let's I was just going to say, Edmund, Ruby, um, I don't have any questions for these guys. Do you want to tie them up or cut their throats? It's your call. Actually, I know, well, it, I it know what you guys advice. prefer. We, we, it is, this is all make-believe, right? No, it's Tobias still... is jumping in the middle of the room clapping. Kill them, kill them, kill them! Yeah! Do it, do it, do it, do it! This Let's is take all them make to the basement. Take the stuff. This doesn't actually... Well... Let's kill them. Uh, all right, Ru Ruby's... Uh, not really interested in killing helpless people. He walks over but, and he starts touching your main gouge, start drawing it. Shh, I'll do it. <laughs> Get your hands off my weapon. Ah, ah, hey. And he scuttles and runs back over to Erg. Smack, <laughs> smack him with the flat side up of his, the court up sword. Erg's side and back. He's just kind of sitting on your shoulders, Erg. It's just I'm knock satisfied. Him out. I'm satisfied with the kneecapping and then once once I see him start to come over and start, Edmund start to come over and go to knocking one of them out I, with the butt of his weapon i imagine i'll, well, I'll um, kneecapping will involve this and ruby holds up a pistol <laughs> oh no i mean just i just sm smashed his knees from from the side basically with my scepter she's um she's practically a leprechaun she knows how they do it in ireland yeah anyway so i'm gonna help uh, knock him unconscious with sure. my scepter do you want to search and, them at all yeah, yeah. we'll time up search them steal their crap apparently we're beating them too but everyone else. This is cold and mugging. It. Since this will be my last uh, session. For um, a while. So you guys go ahead and take it. You guys go through his pockets. You find 10 gold on him. Oh, nice. Holy crap. And you find a message in his pocket. Oh. It says, Take care of Gregor and bring me the girl. Who's it signed by? It is signed by Frau Dashel. Do you remember? Why is that name familiar? Does that ring a bell? Yeah, that does was one of the... Didn't she have a picture of her? She did. She is one of the faces she has worn. All right. Well, um, we'll wait for this guy's not dead yet. We said we're just beating him up. Yeah, yeah. You're just you're just roughing him up. All right. So Ruby will ask, him, "What does Dasher want with the girl?" Um, he he goes. 
I don't know. I don't know. I'm just being paid to, to, to bring her to her. I don't know anything. Just get, well, no, let me out of here. Let, let's just, say let's say you had to give us a good guess or get your head blown off. What would you guess? I, I don't know. He, he starts just pissing himself like on the spot. There's a puddle forms that are. I don't know. I'm just I just hired help. Uh, where were you supposed to take uh, the girl? Back to back to Frau Dashel. Where, where is, is Frau? Where is she? She's at her tower. I'm are there gonna... any towers in town? Like if we stick no. our nose out? No, there's. You look, Pokemon. There are no. There are no towers in town. some directions and slap him. <laughs> if you if you remember back. She took over a a uh, land title from her first victim and just kind of yep. kept signing it over to each of her right. prior yeah. selves. So, no, there's no tower here in town. So, is that the Witchstone Tower? Shrug. That's not the name of it. If you ask him, is it Witchstone Tower? He'll be like, what? what's Witchstone Tower? What are you talking uh, about? All right, all right. No, but for us, is that the tower where we Chances encounter? Chances are very good, yes. Yeah, I mean, there aren't a lot of... T this isn't a no, big tower right. economy here. Tower um, economy. <laughs> all right. Uh, what, what What's down in the basement? Let's bring these guys down to the basement first. Sure, you're going to kick them down the stairs with the yeah, body not? of Gregor lying at the bottom? Over the, well, over we need to be able to get down there before we pile them up. We'll just drag them down. Yeah. All right, so you guys head downstairs, and um, yeah, under underground, it's as you expected. It is just filled with horrors. There's a lab set up where he's been brewing and making these tinctures out of the witch stone. Uh, but the lab's a mess. And lying in the middle of the floor are four men dressed like Pike. Same sort of clothing. They're all dead. Shattered across the room are vials and beakers. And standing in the middle of all of this, uh, with her hands on her head, pacing is Annabella. So she's, I, I, sh I, sh I shouldn't have done it. He's going he's, he's gonna to get up again. He's, he, he's going to get up. He's going to be angry. Who are you talking about, Annabelle? Nah, he ain't getting Gre up. Gregor, Gregor, I should, I should have done it. And she starts crying, and, and she's just right. muttering. Ruby will walk over and take his head off. He's just, <laughs> okay. Well, he's already <laughs> dead, but you're going to get some corruption for mutilating the body. I'm going <laughs> to, that's happening. Get rid of it. You did get commit rid of murder, it. though, so you're not going to get the max corruption. I, I, I feel like I was, I was pacing myself. Uh, I, will, I will give you five corruption <laughs> for just right. mutilating Fair a dead enough. body. Hey now, girl, look, his head ain't there, and Erg will probably eat the rest. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's nothing. To, he, but who are these other men that are down here? I don't remember killing these people. Thank you for the follow, Apollo. That rhymes. Um, hey. hey, Matt, sent you a message there. Yeah, I saw it. The chat can see them, too. Um, yeah, oh. tell us, Annabelle. Um, who are they? She goes, she goes, I... I I I kill. I must have killed them. I I must have killed these men. I I don't remember, but I must. It must have been me. And are Tobias, they recently, Tobias are they recently leans killed? leans over to you, uh, Erg, and he goes, "This is always the worst part. You don't have no control over killing no people." It was probably Gregor did all this. They come to get even with him, and he killed them, not you. Yeah, you remember killing them, or you just assuming. From a layman, from from a laywoman's standpoint, what does it look like? From a, were they um, killed with blades or guns or blunts or? Um, you're gonna go over there and start kicking around the bodies and take a look. Yeah, I'm searching them. Yeah, yeah, you can search them. There's nothing on them. They've already been, they've Looted. already been looked over. Um, and you don't see any markings on their bodies of what had killed them. You How did they there's die? Like, there's like piles of vomit around their bodies and such. Ugh. Poison. Uh, oh, w w do I see any empty tincture bottles around? You, there's smashed tinctures everywhere. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not sure we're going to want to take these tinctures. Would I roll anything to try and identify how they were going to killed? Any witch stone around? There is no witch stone. So he's run out of witch stone recently, and this is where he's now run into some problems. That's got to really impact the quality of the tinctures, then. Exactly. Oh boy. Um, got to use rat poison instead. What's yeah, he... we ain't drinking those. And... Yeah. What's he got on him? Who? The, the Gregor. Guy. Yeah. The head. The guy you just beheaded. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> what's he got in his pockets? What's he got in his pockets? Uh, he's got some, he's got a tincture in his pocket. 
Uh, he was using this stuff himself, so there is a tincture with some some stuff in it still, and okay. um, nothing else really. The guy is just kind of filthy. He hasn't bathed in days. He stinks. He's just no gold. No, there's no gold in his pockets. He wishes he had some gold. Anything else yeah, in the basement of interest? <laughs> Is that, is that circle still here? The summoning circle? Uh, no, the summoning circle is gone. Good, good, any kind good of question. Stuff, any hidden stuff I'm doing on the awareness test, just if there's anything spot out of the ordinary? Um, There's nothing out of the ordinary in this, this lab, this drug lab that you've stumbled upon. This makeshift apothecary. Meth house. Yeah, meth house. Yeah. What would Dutch uh, Annabella? Do you know uh, who this uh, the, this Duchess lady is? Uh, no, no, I don't. Show her the note. You know why she would want um, Pike to bring you back to her? No, I I don't, I don't know what's happening. I have to leave. I have to get out of here. She shouts, where, and she starts going? like getting all agitated and, and freaking out. Yeah, let's get you out of this house. Come on. She's where just the... crying, and she's just. I'm going to lead her upstairs. She goes, no, no, get away from me. Go go away. And Tobias, uh, Tobias is like, uh-oh, here we go. And uh, with that, he's like, this is my chance. And he grabs he grabs the knife out of the back of Gregor and starts running towards Annabella. This is it. Tobias does. I'll kill him. I'll kill her now. Right. Uh, but he charges right at her and he goes right through her and slams into the wall. And he looks at the rest of you. What is this? What is this? Why are you trying to kill her? Sut, well, I've been cursed for 400 years, bound to her. The world all of a sudden starts to fade as Annabelle is standing there. And she reaches down and picks up a book and clutches it tightly. And she starts to walk towards the ladder of the basement. And the is, that the, is that the book we keep losing? It looks very similar. Does does the ogre have his copy? The I have, does have his a copy. couple of books. Yes, I have a practical library on demons on me. <laughs> I think there's another copy right there. The We're like the whole basement around you starts to, to fade. Can I grab can the hear? other copy first? No, she's you. You can reach for her and you go right through her just like Tobias did. And Tobias is shouting, "I don't want to go back there again. I don't want to live this over." I think this this um, particular visit on Christmas Eve is over, and, uh, <laughs> and you're moving on to the next one, right? Yes. Goes to Christmas future. Here we come. Yeah, and there goes our tin gold. No, no, we have the gold. The gold's still in your pocket, right? Anything we leave when, when the curtain comes up, anything on us, we get to keep. So, yeah. You are now back in a clean version of Annabella's parents' basement. The tinctures, the broken tinctures are gone. The bodies are gone. The um, the apothecary equipment is all gone. And you guys are standing there. Suddenly there's a thud as a man hits the ground next to you. You didn't see. He comes into appearance. And you hear a female voice you don't recognize talking from the floor above. And you hear it shout, Where's the rest of the crystal? And the man looks over at you, terrified and confused. Suddenly walking down the stairs is an old woman who moves with grace and someone decades younger. Uh, you guys can uh, make me... Punch out first. You can make a challenging scrutinized <laughs> test to, to recognize, uh, or you can shoot. Uh, how about both? Okay, nope. You said scrutin oh, what, challenging scrutinize? Scrutinize. I'll tell you. Challenging. Yeah, challenging is minus 10. Wow. Roll shit tonight. Roll shit tonight. There you go. You recognize it uh, from the paintings. It is Frau Dashel. She comes down. She goes, Tobias, you know where it is. Don't you? Come out. And Tobias steps out of the shadows. Does she even seem to see us? She's like looks past you. It's kind of playing out around you. And there's a small sliver of witch stone that he has left that he's clutching in his hands, a little demon Tobias. And he uh, slinks towards the group of you and he stands behind you. And he just looks like small and powerless as he's clutching this little shard of witch stone. 
There you are, you little bastard. <laughs> it took you so long getting here. It take us no time, no time at all. No, I've been living here for a hundred years. Why don't you eat that witch stone? <laughs> eat it now. Annabella looks at the group of you and she looks at the man who's lying on the ground. She mutters a few words and all of a sudden a magic missile flies out of her hands and slams into his head and just goo just sprays on the group of you. Oh, hey, 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 was nice that, all. um, who was it before she, do we recognize him? You did not recognize him. Okay. She turns wow. to you guys and she goes, my old friends, it's so hey. good that you finally made it here. Did you enjoy seeing me as a child, as a coward? Now, was no. that trying to help you? We were trying to help you. Yeah. Is that what it was? Yeah. Tobias there said he was going to get my soul, did he? That's cute. We weren't going to let him. We were, we're just not working with really... him, and then we were going to kill him. We're not we were with. Done. We're not with the demon. Uh, um, he's she... trying to get us to betray you. He's trying to help. Oh, is he now? She looks down at the ground, and from behind her steps a, a shade or a shadow that that's like the identical height and shape and everything of Tobias. She What's says, that? "Kill them." Kill, kill Tobias. Kill your altar and kill them. <clears throat> she's she's sicking something on us. Yeah, on the group of you. She says, "Uh, if you survive, tell the musician I look forward to seeing him." And she turns and starts to walk upstairs. The stairs. You gotta go down for doing this. You mess with the wrong group of people. <laughs> right, on shot first, and shoot her in the back of the head. Yeah, Ruby's gonna pop a shot off too. Absolutely. Pop a shot. I got a rock in my pocket. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> Sure. As you do so, she waves her hand. As you draw your gun, she waves her hand. Cat can to grasp. Oh, no. And you guys are frozen in place. She goes, now, now. This is not the end. This doesn't happen. Blood armor. <coughs> this doesn't yeah, I was, happen now. I was thinking the same thing. I it just is, didn't yeah. say it. Uh, Take care of them, Shadow Tobias. <laughs> oh, my. And uh, yeah, with that, uh, she 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 walks away. So, <laughs> we'll just put that guy as Shadow Tobias. Shadow Tobias. <clears throat> Let me roll quickly. Turn to his page with his stats on it, and we'll go on an issue. You guys are gonna beat him, hands down. You got Han shot first, Vins. So you can just do it. Not Vins. Not Vins, I'm sorry. Vins at the top. Oh. <laughs> uh, Edmund, you get Hans shot first. Sorry. Wow. So this is uh, Not a shadowy Vins. demon thing? He it's like figures. a shadow form of Tobias. It looks just like Tobias, just like a little three, four foot tall little demon. Same outline, same shape, but it's a complete shadow. Okay, two points to aim, one points to shoot. <laughs> Eight points of damage. Yeah, that's a hit. All right, let me just plug in this thing's initiative. Oh, yeah, that's at the bottom of the track. Um, you let loose a shot, and it rings out and hits this thing. And as it does so, it withers in pain. And all of a sudden, Tobias lets out, ah! And you look over at him, and where you shot this shadow version of him, he's got, like, a wound, and he's bleeding. Oh, you hurt it, and you hurt me! Stop! <laughs> Sucks to be you, don't it? Ah! All right, so now we're at the top of initiative, aren't we? Initiative doesn't change. So I've got Erg at the top with 18. Were you, did you have 18 yep. before? Did you re-roll? You no, yeah, I was no I had an 18. I oh. rolled a now, 10. Erg, uh, now, how does that work, though, uh, Bill, between the two of us? Reroll. PB. PB. What's PB. your PB? Who's got the higher perception bonus? Uh, let me see here. Mine is a five. Mine's Never. five as well. Reroll. Re then, then what? We roll. No. Remember this happened the other week. We're not roll. I oh, know we both have max edition. We don't want to re-roll it. It's re-roll to break it. That's well. Weird. It's it, you roll off between you to see which one goes. Oh, through. yeah, okay. yeah, right. yeah. So just right. roll again, and I'll just move you guys. And you got a so nine. Roll a nine. Jag off. Nice shot. <laughs> All, All right. right. You, so we keep it as stands. Erg is up first. Erg, you've got this little shadow demon. Tobias is withering on the ground at your feet. Oh no! Don't hurt it. I'm gonna. It's. It hurts me. You're hurting me. Like we care. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to magic missile the thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a hit. For how much damage? That's one. Can I ask Erg a quick, like a question? If it's like, like a, only like a sentence long, or do I have to need to wait until my turn? Or is it, it's, I'm not, I'm fine with either way. It's nine, Matt. Nine damage. Okay. So do you get to add something to the roll too? Like, it, does no, that add ma your, your magic own? is kind of what it is. Um, I, it's a one d ten plus uh, WB for this. WB. Okay. Yeah, I'm just asking because I'm getting. I'm starting to study the magic stuff so I can do it. So yeah, I rolled a 1d10 plus 6 uh, because nice. my WB is currently 6. Alright, so slams into him and again, this this shade flies back to the ground and kind of hops back up after being hit and it knocks down to Tobias. Oh, stop, stop! Don't do not do this! You take it for your attack, Tobias. Uh, It'll do damage to that thing. Look right. over to Erg when I, when I ask that question. <laughs> Ruby is going to pop it and do extra damage on it <laughs> all right do we uh are we gonna kill the thing that we need hopefully not we'll have to cross that bridge later yeah apparently we won't need all right. 18 We're points smart. of oh, damage oh no no it's not Holy. it's not 18 there's another d6 Holy hang hell. on uh 21 20 blackjack <laughs> You slay this thing. Your arrow passes it, hits it. It slows down as it hits the shade, and it all of a sudden just dissipates into thin air. And with that, Tobias ah oh, grabs the same point where the bolt hit. He's like, "You bastards! You killed me! I was helping you." <laughs> and he starts coughing, and he just kind of falls over and just starts to burn and sizzle into like ashes into the ground. That thing abused children. We shouldn't feel bad at all for that. Pick up that piece of witch stone he was holding. <laughs> Be careful with it. The sliver of witch stone? Yeah. Your hair falls out and... No. Your teeth Wrap turn it yellow. Up in a cloth. <laughs> I'd rather have the witch stone. Alright, so as both versions of Tobias fall to the ground, fire wraps up around you and the ground rips away. Looking up the swirl of stairs and gases are so much closer. This is the Well of Eternity you saw up in the sky. You can see old friends and loved ones walking around. It looks so happy. And it is coming for you. There's a snap! And the Dark Musician is sitting behind you. Pleasant looking, I know, but we are not finished. And he pulls out his pan flute and he plays a bar with his little, his skeletal fingers snapping about. And all of a sudden the world goes black. And it comes to again. You are now, rain is hitting your heads. Blinking, the world comes into focus. You are in the field. Wet grass is in your face. The smell of burned wood and flesh fills your nose. Rolling over, you see the well getting closer and a huge chunk of earth floating above the ground. Annabella is standing atop this hunk of earth with her grimoire in one hand and a dagger in the other and yellow energy is pulsing between her and in the witch stone gases from the well of eternity are filtering down and swelling all around her the dark musician turns to you and says it's time for you to do what we could not and he stands over the party and uh this bony frame just kind of like it's all he, he's like deteriorated over time and he's deteriorated even more and he's just falling apart he goes i can pull her down you must do the rest now that you are back from the dead, make it count. He puts his flute to his lips. Well, he doesn't have any lips. To his Wait, teeth. can you give me 30 seconds? Yeah, uh, can we Can we get a moment here? Sure. I'd like to load a crossbow, thank you. Well, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, um, puts the, uh, pets the pan, pan flute to his, to his mouth. He starts to play and he flies towards Annabella, knocking her from her feet and crashing her floating down from the swirling hunk of earth that she's standing on. She shouts, You! I shall rip you limb from limb for what you have done! I shall not be stopped! I shall not be denied! Can I cast something while this is happening? Uh... <laughs> well, it's time for initiative, my friend. No, you interrupt narrative. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta wait for the monologue. 
so we are now fighting Annabella. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's do this. What time is it? How much time we got left? Oh, no, no, we, we, should, we probably shouldn't. Here. We probably shouldn't do it now. We should probably wait till next we should time. Wait, wait till our, our really powerful fighter is here, right? Yeah, it just seems seems like it would be wrong to end the whole thing without him. <laughs> it's up to everybody else. I don't mind. I can't, I can't one more tell session. if you're being if you're being uh, legitimate with me here, or you just shit. yeah, or just protecting your fate points. <laughs> well, I just how how long will this take too? Because you know, well, we've got we got forty five minutes still ahead of us. Yeah. Shall we? I think we should Let's do, do it. it. All right. All right. No, I'll, I'll remove Barsh from this map. We don't need Ooh. it. We got it. We did it for a while. Boom. Though, right? Like, All right, so we've got Annabella there. And you guys are standing here. Rain pouring and pounding down all around you. Let's get her on this. Uh... They didn't transfer our turn orders. Come on now. Okay, hold on. Because I transitioned screens. I have 16, yeah. I'm just writing down all of your scores. You had a 16. I got Admin 17. Oh, the 218. Yeah, I got the 218s. Hey, chat, this would be a great time to buy us some fortune. <laughs> yeah, you can buy fortune. It has now gone up to 500 bits a flip. What? Did I not announce that earlier? It is no. It is legit. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like in, I'm like in the middle of Walmart. Yeah, and now that the players really need it. Check out. What, is, what is, is this? Is, 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 is this like dynamic pricing here? <laughs> well, it's to help uh, also combat sense. what uh, what happened where people just showed up and killed all of you by donating money. So to help also yeah. even it out, we raised the cost of it. Yeah, makes sense. You got to be serious about wanting to flip that shit. Exactly. You got to be serious if you want to if you want to make it happen. <laughs> All right, let me um, let me roll initiative for old Annabella here. The floating... However, you know, with that with that change right there, it probably would have been nice to you know start back at zero. You know, we get a fresh. Uh, I, I I think that's only fair. At least half of them. <laughs> so you guys are fully recuperated on all your peril and all of your damage if you have any right now. I'll tell you that. You okay, feel okay. rejuvenated. You feel rested going into this when the Dark Musician starts to play his last tune and fly towards Annabella and knock her down and he disappears. Excellent. Well, at least she didn't roll that good for initiative. Does anybody else have um, leadership? Ranks in leadership? No. Okay. Unfortunately. Yeah, otherwise we'd get some, some inspiring words going. Hell All yeah. right. Let's do this. Duff says fight. That's right, Duff. <laughs> fight, 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 fight. You, you, we are fighting a necromancer. Fight. Or the equivalent of a necromancer and, in this. You want to try and do what we did last time, Oak, with the with the damage, the peril damage? Oh, well, hell yeah. Yeah. That shit was <laughs> All right. Well, hell yeah. <laughs> Let me All open right. my grimoire, because we are now fighting a spellcaster, which we have never really done before. So this should be fun. Well, you guys faced that one on the tower and you killed her in like round one before she even got her turn. Yeah. That didn't count. Okay, kind of, so Han shot first. Me. Han I'm shot first. One AP for Litany of Hatred. <laughs> you blasphemous witch will tear you limb from limb. I believe in you. And where's my... Oh. She However, just laughs. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> I get to reroll. Re you flip the results to succeed at Intimidate. Oh, test. look at you. 68, though, it does not succeed. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Did you have your... Was your difficulty uh, set right? Yeah, I think so. I got plus 20 to it. Yeah. That sucks. That rating doesn't seem right. That seems kind of low. Now, is that you your do... one time per... Yes. So you can't do that again? Nope. And... Check this out. <laughs> One corruption for for uh, Edmund. He's untrustworthy. That's hilarious. I like it. Fight, 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 fight. All right. I that was Han shot first. No, you still got more AP. That was only one AP. Yeah, that's one AP. Yeah, I'm yeah. just trying to look because. 
fellowship. I said, yep, yeah, that, calcul that was calculated correctly. You son of a bitch. That was a big deal right there. Okay, so uh, <laughs> one AP to aim and one AP to shoot. Have you, what does channel power do? Or have you ever tried doing that one before? To increase and a miss there too. She oh, gonna kill. Yeah, it gives you a better chance to wait, to succeed, but it uh, also makes you roll a six-sided dice. If it rolls a six, you get a problem. Oh, Chaos no. manifestations. I think problems would be fine at this point. No problems for her. <laughs> Yeah, the, the problems are things like all of our freaking clothes can explode. Oh. No, all that's right. not good. That's a bit of a problem. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So now we jump to Erg. <clears throat> so first thing I'm going to do is yell spread out. We don't want to get all hit at the same time by magic. Those are wise words. Good that's idea. what happened to the party last night. The Son of Swordsmen and Sorcerers. We were spread out. It was just a 30 yard radius. Yeah, that's that was true. rough. I, I watched a little bit of it earlier. And I'm going to cast Shimmering Crown. Okay. Ooh, a new spell I haven't seen. No, he cast this one in the bar. Did he? He's oh, got he that flaming it. crown above his head. Yeah, and we're going to do that thing where we're all going to barely miss. Oh. Yep. So I miss with that. Nothing happens. You know, the and, shitty uh, thing is, I need to spend my misfortune so you guys can get some fortune back. Yeah. Right? And eh. with my, I'm going to, so I, I used one AP for that. And I'm going to walk five yards away. Okay. Okay. How deep is this water, everybody? Me ask. Oh, it's like to your ankles. Okay. Well, I'm a, I'm a. Uh, it, it to your knees. Yeah. Okay. All right, Ruby. You've That's got, high. you've got her f standing there in the puddle, screaming at you. Hey, Matt. I'm trying to take a bit of cover behind that bush or whatever it is. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Did did uh, what's the verdict on her crossbow? Did she get it reloaded or not? Oh, between leaving worlds and coming here. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, it got reloaded when you go into the basement or whatever. Sure. All right. So she's gonna go ahead and fire the crossbow. And now she's going to want to move after this. So um, she only, she gets three movement points or three points, right? So she has to save one to move. That means one to attack and one to do something else. So she'll, she'll save her extra thing for the extra damage. Does that sound about right? Sure. All right. Here's the shot. Got her. Ooh, nice. 13, 13 and here's here's the extra damage. Mm. Oh, and and that's a crit, yeah, yeah. so I get to roll again. Mm -hmm. So total of twenty one again. Yeah. So it's what's the extra six for? Uh, the extra six is a um, uh, a crossbow ability you can do if you, uh, but you have to spend an action point. It's like basically deadly aim or something. What is it? Um, I can look it up. Punishing ability, I believe, lets you do an extra 1d6 if it hits and you use an extra AP. Right, that's it. There Thank you. you. I think you can plug it in on in that damage column there, 1d6, so when you roll, it'll automatically put that in. Yeah. I just don't always use it, though. That's why I haven't done yeah. that. But I, I bet I think you're right. I think I could do that. Um, yeah, you can so, set up. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no. And then uh, you can set up two different ones. That's yeah, probably yeah, a good idea. Yeah, uh, so does that look like that hurt her much? It did look like it hurt her. There's some dots on her. No, but no wounds or anything? No shit, she three dots. Does, she does not suffer wounds. Oh, okay. So That is then, that is written into her talents. Yeah, no, no. She's or a injuries, boss. I should say. Injuries. She's a boss. Okay, now her movement's 11. So is that 11 squares she can go? Is that how that works? Mm -hmm. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, does she have to slow down in the bushes? Yes. You can use this to get uh, 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 double. It'll be half half bushes. move half move in the bushes. So yeah, double to get through. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, <coughs> seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So she's back. She she's out of sight, but I'm um, she's Ruby's gonna try and circle behind her basically. Sure. 
And that is Ruby's action. All right, Edmund, we're up to you. I'm going to spend one to move. So there's one, two, three. Pat you on your back as you're leaving. So, so. I'm going to move to there. Mm -hmm. And one to shoot. I'm going to say one to parry just in case she comes at me. I think she's 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 gonna bring in friends. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Seventeen damage? Fifteen damage, yeah. All right. That's enough to do some damage. All what right. Are those, what do all those colored dots mean? You guys are good at doing a lot of damage up front to bosses. Aren't you? Too bad uh Barsh isn't here. I know, yeah. right? Well, this, this she would, would charge and she would die. This would be over by now. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> and Barsha's good at sucking up all the aggro, too. So Annabella... Annabella falls to the ground. Oh. As she does so, suddenly a tendril of energy comes up from where Annabella is lying and starts to pull her away. Then a flash of witch stone light hits her body and her soul is dragged back. Huge claws and tentacles burst from her back and arms. Small mouths form across her flesh as her pores turn into eyes that open and burn with fire. You defeated Annabella the Lesser. Now it's time for Annabella the Greater. This isn't even her final form. I know, I was about to make a Dragon Ball Z joke too. And... Alright, we've got Annabella... <laughs> Oh, where was she on? She had 13, didn't she? Uh, actually, this is... This thing have its own? Well, all right. right. So, all right, 13. So, we are at Vin's, aren't we? Yep. Yes, sir. All right, all right so Vin's, I... your turn. You see this big demon? Hold on, let me see if you got a roll for uh, seeing this thing. A question, Matt. Are we able to reset on trying to use litany and hatred on this thing as it's technically a new enemy it's not or is gonna, it the same it's not going to affect a demon yeah yeah so Oak yeah, knows fair enough it is it is succeeds at all resolve tests cannot be intimidated demons are too powerful um fire and go hug it yeah no unfortunately uh, or no there's nothing here that makes you roll upon seeing it it doesn't even have a weapon, huh? It's got these big, giant, like, claws, scythes on it, and big, giant teeth. Can't, can't, can't grasp that. Nope. All right. I would like to move over to Erg as my move action. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, let me make sure I actually can do that. Um, and hug onto uh, his leg? I have, I have a bum leg. Okay. Damn. One. Two, three, four, five. Oh no, I can do it open? with I can do it with a diagonal. Yes. Awesome. Alright, so I'm just standing in the water like and I'm gonna um use another action point to draw a torch and then I want to kind of just basically hold it out for just, can you light this? Um I don't know if Erg can light it or not, but um, that's pretty much <laughs> gonna be pretty much gonna be just my action. I hold say, up I his save. crown? Sure. My yeah, crown well, that didn't light my... this time, I'm going to have to recast. Yeah, I'm going to use... Yeah, I'm basically going to hold it up over his head in and, and hopes that when he casts it, it will ignite my, my flame. And as my last action point, I want to draw my rock from my pocket. And so that's my turn. Okay. All right. <clears throat> this thing is going to charge towards Ruby. He's hiding. And I'm going to go there. Watched you run right in front of it. Um, and it's got reach, so it doesn't need to be next to you to hit you. It's got reach with its big, not. long claws. <laughs> so it's going to take a swing at you. So she get any cover for being there? No. And its weapon quality is fast, so you find it, suffer a minus 10 to your base chance to dodge or parry. So I'm assuming you're going to try and dodge or parry if it's successful. I bet um, you just don't hit him, so you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, right? That is a critical success. You cannot dodge or parry a critical hit. All right. So it swings at you with its big scythe claws. 
Fast, vicious, and reach. So vicious. Additional D6 when determining whether or not you hit an injury. So let's roll damage for this thing. I feel like right now I'm dual wielding Adam's two favorite weapons because he always talks about how much he likes two the stones? torch and the rock. No, he always Torches likes the, the rock and the torch, and I've got both of them. <laughs> Too bad he's not in channel to buy you some stuff, huh? Oh, I know, right? You, did you use a fate point there? Uh, no, it was a um, it was Perfect. a crit. Okay. You want to use a die to do more damage? Uh, nope, because I'm not going to give you a fortune <laughs> point. <laughs> Damn it. So that's Almost 22 had points of damage. Fuck. I might have to use a... Uh, let me see. Um, let me just take a look here. I've got two fate points left, so I'm ready. Yeah, I got two as well. I hate to have to use them. But... <laughs> I know. <laughs> to rip one of those fate points out of you. It's like pulling teeth. Oy. Okay, so how does this work now? I'm at... Um, okay, let me look at your character sheet. I have a... I think it's a seven... We need to get some of that leadership going to uh, get us some peril buff. You did twenty-two damage to him. Yeah, that would do so, four damage, four damage ticks to me. I'm so weak. <laughs> I think it would grievously wound. Uh, yeah, so you've got twenty-five as your 40. max. I'm gonna have to go ahead and just burn a fate point. But you're not dead. Well, doesn't matter. I mean, if, if you know, if you do that much damage, then I mean, if I'm grievously wounded, can I even fight? I mean, isn't it going to? You, you gonna can, wound? but it's going to be negatives. But you have focuses to cancel some of those negatives. But aren't you also? Oh no, roll? I'm sorry, that's perfect. Um, yeah, you, you can still roll like injuries and stuff. And yeah, like... I get to roll injuries yet. All right, go ahead and roll. But I reserve my right to use a fate point. Is that okay? I did not get an injury. Oh. So you're hurt. You can't use a fate point until you die. Oh. Okay, so you're so still just, you're still alive and kicking. You're not I'm just, dead yet. I'm, I'm just very wounded. You're very, very, very wounded. Wait, where should I go? Should I mark to grievously wounded? Yeah, you're or serious. You're grievously wounded. One more and you're slain. Okay, because I mean my fourth. Pa yeah. Okay. So you, yeah, because you get four, right? One, two, three, four. So I'm at grievous. Okay. Woo. All right. Well done, sir. All right, all right, Nailed it. all right. So it did that. What else can I do with my AP? Um. Well, you moved and you've attacked. So what do you have left? Just six more. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what. Whenever this thing and attacks can, uh... and it deals damage, you must uh resist a chokehold. Um. So let's do that. So chokehold. You get to roll a athletics to resist. Ted Nugent starts playing <laughs> Stranglehold. I kind of feel like we need sure. to have Barsh here on this. I, I, that's why I was like that before the session. Like, it really sucks that she not here, guys. Yeah, I don't know about the the whole like big fight without the guy that fights. But all right, so standard Ath or athletics what do standard? I... Yep. Okay. All right, made that one. You're good. All right, you resisted the choke. Unless hold. you unless you want to roll a. You can flip it, I guess. No, right? no, I'm good. I'm fine with keeping all my misfortune right now. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finally, I'm gonna finally bleed a fate point out of Ruby. You've, you've broken that game mechanic. <laughs> uh, all right, that's it for Greater Annabelle. Let's go back to Erg. Let's try this again, guys. <clears throat> yes. I have a flaming torch now. Well, and your head's on fire too. That's cool. But yeah, important thing here is you. All right, so you get your shimmering crown on. <laughs> and is that you, you a... doing the measurements? Matt? You can o you can only cast. No, it's me. I'm measuring some turn. stuff. Oh, or... even if I have the AP. Yeah. Oh, that's my bad. That's okay. I... It came well, up in our in our uh, enemy within game as well. Shimmering crown. Then I pull out a thing of um, <clears throat> gut rot and pour it all over myself as my other AP. He's hey. gonna go give him a hug. He is, and that's it for your turn, Eric. That's it for my turn. All right, Ruby, we're over to you. You're bloodied. All right. So, is there any practical impact to my combat with this? To your your damage? 
Yeah, I mean, like I, I'm I'm hanging on by a thread here, but I have not taken any peril track damage, so I can still like swing away like I'm like if... I'm. Right, you haven't taken any wounds, so that didn't affect your your peril or anything. So okay. swing away. So I'm all right. Um, yeah. Well, she's going to. Is she, is she able to trip this thing and knock it over? <laughs> no. Okay. All right, so she's just gonna poke it with with the pointy end. Um, so she'll. Uh, I'm just trying to think here. What she, did it, did it look like it got more than one? It doesn't get more than one attack, right? You don't know. Well, it moved and spent one to attack. So, do anything's ever get two attacks in a round? Yep. So some things do. Okay. Yep. So does she, now she does she have to if she wants to m move to close to hit it does she have to step up to it to hit it? What are you asking? I like well like it has reach she doesn't so she that's considered an action. So point you're gonna have to you're gonna have to move up yeah to hit it it's got reach yeah. Okay all right. So Autumn's only gonna affect wounds though isn't it? No it'll move them up one step. What's that? Laudanum. Uh, it's the tincture that helps you ignore the wounds. Oh, it does. If she drank, to, she has tincture. She has a tincture on her. If she drinks it, no. Does that so help a tincture ignores your wound. Like if you have effects from a wound, like being paralyzed, it oh, oh, okay. ignores it for twenty four hours. Laudanum will move you up one track on the damage. damage. Cool. Oh, okay. I, she may have laudanum too, but I don't know if she should be. Can she she eat right now, or is that not costing like, AP? You can you could take a laudanum. Okay, down some laudanum. Just, just we'll she's got that handy. Um, now she's got red cap mushrooms. Yeah, <laughs> which has helps your combat ability. It does. What what is what does that do? Let's uh, look it up between turns. Then, if we go, if we don't know, I'm sorry. Go I'm ahead. on it right here. I'll send. I'll send. No, no, that's fine. That I'll adds just... adds to your damage. Oh, to how much damage I can do to it? Yeah. Come on, guys. I'm gonna start putting a timer on here. All right. Uh, all right. She's just gonna. She'll step up to it. And okay. she's she's going to attempt to uh, kill it with her court sword. She'll do a standard attack. She's going to leave um, two parries back for herself. Here's her here's her attack. It's a critical hit. Nice. And so it took into this... account the critical. Okay. And as a one. Yeah, it's got a one on it. So eleven damage. So it can't, we can't try to get out of the way. It's just got to eat it. So eleven points of damage. Does it do anything? No, you do not seem to affect this thing. Oh, wow! So you swing at it, you stab your court sword into it, but it is unaffected. Does it seem like it's immune to when our weapons? Uh, no. no. It looks like you just weren't able to to damage it enough to get right through, able to get its, through its natural its armor. Skin. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're going to die. <laughs> wow. All that right, was... Edmund, it's up to you. Uh, I'm going to spend one to move. You need uh, Erg with his 26 points of damage. On his I'm moving down there, and yep. I'm still within my normal range to hit him. So I'm going to uh, one to aim, one to shoot. Where is my bow? Miss. Okay. I'm gonna done damage anyway. All right. Vinswick. I'm gonna move up here, and I'm gonna try and attack him with with a torch. Okay, I've got everything programmed in. All right. Let me make sure I don't have anything. All right. Mm. All right. So you hit it with a torch? Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah, I did. Uh... All right. So it's immolate. After a foe is struck with the weapon of this quality, they must succeed at a coordination chest or be set on fire. 
He's good. Oh, there's plus 10 in there. Let's get rid of that plus 10. He's good! Damn it. <laughs> All right. Um, and then I'm going to roll inspiring words. Um, it's either life or death, men. We've got to fight as hard as we can. And um, I'm going to make a... There's your red cap. You're going to make what, sorry? Leadership test. Okay. To do... Ooh, a crit fail is my favorite thing to do. Ooh. It's cool, isn't it? I love it. What do you just, do, like break all over morale now? <laughs> it just does peril to me. Just okay. shatters, yeah. You talked yourself out of it? Se seven peril? Yeah, uh, and then it doesn't do anything. Doesn't even hurt you? Nah, it's, I still just sort of like stumble my words and I imagine. Sure. Just... All right, um... I have a pretty high peril threshold. Does a very low damage threshold. <laughs> um, yeah, that was like a three, and it hit you. Yeah, it's crazy. All right, it's gonna try and swing at you again, Ruby. Seventy-three. Let me go to the the books here. The old books. How does that work for them? Do they have a? Are they? Do they have a uh, skill rank or something? It's got or? stats. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. You also want uh, to look at... Sorry, go ahead. Hey. That's a hit. That is when a it hit. hits on a 73? It does. <laughs> okay, she's going to try and parry it. Remember, it's at a minus 10. Because it's fast. All right, so it's, it's a challenging parry. Right? Okay. Ugh. All right, it's going to swing its blades at you again. It's bladed hands. 2d6 plus 10. I think I'm just going to give you a fate point. Okay. All right. All right. So fate point. Hey. Leland, you need to uh, read stuff too. Because uh, the inspiring words work just like Litany of Hatred. If you're unharmed, you get plus 20 to the leadership. Uh, okay. Do you mind if I reroll it real quick? It's yeah, just a plus past. one to our peril. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, never yeah, mind. we've moved past it. Um, yeah, and if it had been a crit, we'd have now. moved up like one more notch. Uh, it just doesn't say that on the, um, like the, the stunt yeah, the cheat sheet. sheet, sheet but, oh, yeah. you would have had a crit? Oh, that would have been awesome. Didn't... Yeah, because uh, everyone gets plus one to the damage and peril threshold. If the test is critical, allies gain in it, the aforementioned benefits and move up the peril condition track Can positive. Tell me what page that's on? Sorry. Okay, uh, so it's going to uh, shoot acid spittle at you, Vinswick, or attempt to at least, All right, out so, of its um, mouth. Okay, uh, hang on a minute. For Ruby, uh, I you, I went, I removed one fate point. Where is she now? Is she back to normal? Yeah, we've been playing that. We put you back to normal. Okay. Uh, so Vins, it it turns to you and it shoots acid out of its mouth in your direction. Gotcha. Okay. Do you have any points to try or parry or dodge? Uh, no, I use, uh, well, hold on, I moved up, I attacked with the same, and I, nope, I don't. <laughs> okay. So it causes, uh, 1d10 plus 1 acid damage. Roll so one. 5 points of damage, which isn't that bad. It still does something to me. I it ignores, uh, any modifiers you have for armor. No armor here. Alright, I'm lightly wounded. All right, and that is it for its turn. We're back to Erg with his flaming crown, and we're going for a flaming sword now. All right, okay, yeah, I might yep. try and make note of that's that on success. The sheet somewhere. <laughs> that's two AP though, Matt. So I'm uh, I'm going to move, move a little bit, but. Sure. And we're back to the newly revived Ruby. Yeah. All right. Well, Ruby is going. To, what is the action that you can use to get out of combat without without drawing a um uh an attack of opportunity? Maneuver. All right. So she's going to maneuver. You, you move one one yard away. Okay. Uh. Well, but that's is it has is, reach. 
Yeah, does that get her out of the attack no, zone? No, it's got reach. So you'd move one yard away, you'd still be in its its zone. But you could then spend your another AP to take a movement and just run. It, it, it'll still get a swing at you, but yeah. I thought the other one for the rest of the turn, wouldn't it? Hang on. Avoiding all attacks for opportunity. Uh, but that's only one one yard out. To get that one yard away avoids all attacks opportunity for that move. Well, it seems like then a reach creature would just kind of break that. But, yep. Okay. Um, so could she take two maneuvers to get, a, no, to get away? No, it's two AP to do it. All right. So she can't ever leave without getting hit then. So I, I don't know. All right. Um, well, I, could you argue this since it says it moves one yard out of engagement? If it's got reach, then its engagement is that distance. So would she be one yard further from its reach because that's engagement? It says out of an engagement. Um, well, she's only in one right now. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rule it's one yard out. Okay. All right. Uh, well, she'll stay, I guess, and then try and fight this thing. Um, so she's going to uh, – she can't knock it over. Uh, I was just trying to see if there's any way to do extra damage on an attack, but um, eating that uh, e eating that those mushrooms would give her a, a bonus. Um, but she's she'll just go ahead at this point and try and attack it. So she's going to um, take two here. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. That's not your damage. That's damage threshold. So that's how much you would be resisting damage. I'd be resisting damage. Yeah, because it says damage threshold, not damage. Well, this thing's gonna get over. Uh, d does a damage threshold bonus get added at each tier, or just the beginning one? It's the beginning. It's all There's a it. spot for it. If you Arrow look on this damage threshold modifier, you would put one, two, or three, in depending on how many you eat, and that would automatically adjust it. Would adjust it. Okay. Um, then you get the yeah, effects of delirians. Yeah, it'll affect her uh, ability to be her awareness ability, I believe, right? Yep. Yeah. All right, so she'll eat, uh, and that's one action point to eat a mushroom, right? Yep. All right, she'll eat a mushroom, and so that'll bounce her up one level on those things. So let me go ahead and mark that off. Uh, so her, she's now an eight. Do you want to? Are you swinging or anything? Yep. Because uh, we can mark is. it between turns. No, no. She's gonna swing, and she okay. gets a. She, she's doing a. Um, taking aim with it. So here goes the attack. Just a hit. Thirteen points of damage. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be enough to hurt it though. It is. You seem to pierce through its tough hide with that. And it looks okay. like you do some damage. Some pus starts to ooze out. All right. So we've taken it down one. I, I probably just took it down one threshold. Let's see right. if it heals one at the end of this round. Probably. Is there anything else uh, you're doing, Ruby? Um, oh, she's got her uh, her two. Um, no, no, she's just going to get ready to parry. Okay. Edmund, we're over to you again. Two to aim, one to shoot. This combat's getting dragged out. Let's try to have stuff ready when we get to our turns, what we want to do. Oh. Okay, 95 goes wide. Do you have anything else that you want to do? No, that, that's on my AP. Vins, we're over to you. All right, I'm going to use an AP. Um, well, I'm going to drop my torch. Yep. Uh, the... well, can I toss it to the shore? Sure, like you can just here? toss it aside, sure. Okay, I'm going to toss it to the shore, into the bush, I guess, <laughs> and then uh, so I don't lose it downstream. And then I'm going to draw my, um, uh, whatever the hell it's called, scepter, or whatever I've been calling it. It's just basically a club. Um, and then I'm going to, so that's one AP to draw it, and then I'm going to try to, Aim for one AP and then attack him for another. So okay, use the center routine for the aim. All right, 
to hit. Eight damage. Unfortunately, it does not seem to affect this thing at all. <laughs> all right. It's going to turn to you, Vins, and it's going to swing with its claws this time. Mm. Yep, no parry left. That's a hit. Four. 14 damage. Yeah, that's some damage. Okay. <laughs> I'm not even missing. I can't even give you guys... I want to give you guys fortune, and I'm not even missing to get a reroll. Uh, did, uh, did its wounds look like it closed up a bit, Matt? No, it does not. It does no, not appear good. that the wounds have closed. Well, we might have a chance. It's going to turn to you, Erg, and it's going to spit acid in your direction. Ooh, you're going to have to roll me to make sure you're able to attack there, buddy. All right. What do I have to roll? Second, I'm going to put the spell over there. Um, so he... Automatically succeeds at all resolve tests. Steely fortitude. Poop shoots. Poop shoots indeed. Critical oh, six. Yes, failure. Yes. Critical failure. Oh, yes. What? It's going to take some peril. <laughs> That's, That's about it. That's about it. Oh, 10 points peril. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> um, no, no. <laughs> so get you on a peril track? I'll take I'll take Jeff's. I'll take Jeff's suggestion there. When it leans back to shoot some spit, it uh, the effects of takedown happen where it kind of stumbles and it falls to its knees. Oh, that's good. I'll I'll do that. I like the I like the uh, the recommendation there, Jeff. So it's currently prone. Or excellent takedown. So prone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was a good suggestion. We're back to Erg. And I finally get to attack, guys. So first, I'm going to walk up to it. Get is there any bonus for it being on the ground? I can't remember that. An extra yes. D6 Fury Die for D6. your damage. Extra D6. That's handsome. I like it. <laughs> say I like handsome? More damage. I said it's handsome, okay? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's funny. It's a handsome amount of damage. <laughs> That's Holy okay. You just Ooh. barely make it. Did roll another d6? <laughs> and that I'm going to roll 2d6 cuz I'm go, also going to spend the extra AP. 6 is come on. Come on, 6s. Do this one. If we win this it's going to Oh. Hey yeah. yeah. guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. 16 <laughs> points of damage. It's so good. Still moved it down a track, probably. It went yeah. down it like, one. Does prone allow like an extra D6? Yeah, that's what he did there. I used both of them. I used my ex my last AP as well as the... Uh, okay, prone. I thought you had two AP you were using on the... No, that's rough. Jeff's saying, it's down, melee attack, melee attack it! That's what <laughs> we're trying, else? Jeff. <laughs> All right, it went down one more track. Ruby, we're over to you. Ruby if we go down. It's going to be that by the skin of the teeth because, like, that last hit was by one. Ruby, I think, hit by two. Yeah. Ruby is going to leap up and plunge her cord sword into this yeah. thing. Aim, aim. Oh, yeah. She's <laughs> aiming hard. Aim, aim. Use your aim. Oh, jeez. Oh, I don't have anything to reroll. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Edmund, before I it gets up, you. well, you and Vince both get to attack before it gets up. Okay, uh, I don't have prone in front of me. Does that give me a minus shooting range? No. The only thing it affects is the bonus to damage. Okay. Uh, two to aim, one to shoot. Ugh, it exploded, but only for once. I don't do anything to it. No, I rolled you like don't. Or no, I didn't explode. I just rolled a one. Yeah, it's turning green on ones. For well, you get to roll. Because... You get to roll another d6 also because the extra. No, period. I'm at range, not melee. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. I'm done. All right, Vins, use that club. All right, Vins is going to roll, do a double aim, and then try and just whack this thing with his scepter. Um. All right. Uh. No. Uh, Roll another D6. That's right. That's right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
One's Eight all damage. around. All right, this thing's going to stand up. Let's get rid of that snail. It stands up. Erg, you heard it. It's going to turn to you and slice at you with its bladed arms. Critical success. Erg, critical success. I have no points to parry or anything, so... Ban anyway. Yep. Eighteen points of damage. I think you rolled low. I did roll low. Eighteen points One. of damage. Or does that put you? Was it me that he hit? Sorry. No, it was Erg. I went down okay. one track. Okay. So are you lightly wounded or are you unharmed? You're unharmed. Lightly wounded. I hit my 14 and then 20 is my next one. Okay. Yeah. So I don't even get when to roll for When it hit, does it get like some of that alcohol all over it? <laughs> On its blade? No. <laughs> no. It's in the rain. It just pour, It just rinses off. Hmm. 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 It's going to try and spit some acid for its last AP. At one, two, three. Erg's one, Vin's is two, Ruby's three. Ruby gets some acid spit in her direction. <laughs> oh, I don't it's a know miss, <laughs> but I'm going to spend a misfortune to reroll that. Yeah, you are. And give you guys some fortune. Yeah, it's, that's the reasoning. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Nice. That's a hit. Uh, how much damage does acid do again? It was low. It was really low. D can it be dodged? D, D, D10 plus one. It can be dodged. Yeah, yeah. I have an action point. So yeah, go ahead and, and roll to uh, attempt to dodge it. It's not that's fast or anything like that, so there's no modifiers. Right. It just ignores any armor if you have armor of the damage. So it does five points of damage. Ignoring any armor that uh, is giving you bonuses to resisting. Um, how do I? How do I? Are you wearing armor? Yeah, she's got leather, but I. I so uh, leather she... gives you a plus two. What's your base damage? Yeah, she, um, yeah, she's okay. She's got that. Those mushrooms put her over the top. Okay. All right, we're back to Erg then. This thing's now standing, and it's not happy, but it's injured. I'm gonna take aim. And attack with my flaming sword. Yes. Damn it. You have a fortune point. Do you want to spend it or do you want to save it? A single that fortune. Fortune needs to go to damage. Yeah, that's I agree, because we could we need to put the thing down. I agree. But how much damage is a flaming sword? Yeah, but I would have an extra AP to put into damage as well. Right. Well go ahead. If you think you can make it work, take do a it. shot. It's a good chance. Oh, yeah. crit. Crit. that was totally worth it. Crit success. That was worth it. I agree. You can't re-roll that. What's the deal with, with a crit on that thing? Um, One second here. Extra die damage, right? Well, the spells have specials. Oh, oh that's right. Usually when you critic or when you cast them, but there might be something for this guy. Yeah, no, it's just when you cast it. Uh, so it's just a regular attack by the look of it, but... How much damage total? It, it acts like a normal weapon, though, so um, that would be 17. But you get an extra... The critical gives an extra D6, too. Yeah, I haven't rolled the critical yet uh, for oh. an extra D6. Okay, well then give me the, the, your full total, please. Oh. Well, that's a six. 24. 24? 24 Good. points of damage. That's what we needed. Eh? This thing's immune to um, wounds, right? To uh... Erg! 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 Ends it. That was enough to do it, buddy! Yes. Yeah! Good job, big guy. That's what's up. You plunge your flaming sword down into this demon! Nice. Murder and a meal. Hmm. Oh. 
You're going to eat this thing? Roll Dunderhead no, about that. No, decision, I'm please. not. Yeah, that's not. That's, that's a Dunderhead decision, though, I think. <laughs> You'll be she throwing horns before the night's over. All you right. You hear in the back of your head a pan flute playing, and the mist suddenly overtakes you. A minute later, it clears, and you're back in your camp. The fires died, the old willow tree empty, and only a small stain of blood marking where Durant met his end. You remember that was the guy holding the box at the beginning that you were hired yeah. by? Have you survived? Have you returned to the real world? Will anybody believe what just happened? Only time will tell. Fade to black, and that is the end. All right, you got to fade. In between. That was awesome. That is the fini. You say we got a fate point? No, no I, we you got one of my fate I got a fate points. point. I got ate a fate point. fate point. Thank you, uh, Sean Van Dam. That was awesome. That was a very cool that adventure. Was adventure. You guys Sorry, have good. everything that you took with you or that you picked up along the way, except for that giant hunch, hunk of witch stone is no longer in your possession. How many chunks was I able to break off of it, though? And you were able to break off eight chunks or oh, like oh. shards of witch stone. Shards of witch stone. And someone else took a shard, did they not? Yeah, I picked one up. There you go. How do we do for corruption tonight? I got one because I made it, Phil. Dick Ruby, you said, got uh, four or five, right? Big old goose egg. Things were looking end. grim. You guys plowed. So I rolled an eight for corruption. Okay. Uh, you guys plowed through the casting part. She was nasty. She had petty, greater general spells. She had a lot. And she had ones that if she cast them successfully, they were instantly crits. Uh, oh, it was getting real nasty. But you guys walked all over the lesser Annabelle, which was the caster, and you guys went right to the demon. Yeah. It was pretty tough. Yeah, that was awesome, though. Yeah. yeah like, Sorry, it took Urk end. so long to get going. The no, very I wish Mars had real Well, brave. hey, Urk had a strong finish, so that's okay. Yeah, no, he did, definitely. Yeah. I'll give you guys a hundred and... What's a weird number I can give you Two. to mess you up? I was going to say, like, 180 I was going to give you. Yeah. Don't uh, don't forget to um, split Just the round that to with... 200. This was a finale. Yeah. <laughs> These guys asking for more XP. This is a finale. We survived. You give us more. You know, Jeff's is very nice. You guys survived. You did it. I you did it without that, Barsh. That 10 gold we I think we I think it's worth at least an extra 50 without Barsh. <laughs> an extra 50? <laughs> what was it? What did he give us? 150? 180 is what I was giving you. They want me to, to give you more. Man, you and your weird numbers. Can you make it on the 25? 175, so then. <laughs> 175, because Erg, Erg complained to make it to the 25. No, I'd, I'd rather on the 75. 225. Really? Agree. Should be on the 25. All right, 175. There you go. <laughs> Took five away. 175. That's it. We're done the in-between. It's over. This was uh, Vinswick's last session with us also. This was his farewell. He survived the in-between. Yep. At least for a while until we get... Going. Uh, I'm just taking a break on um, streaming uh, a bunch with this channel so I can just kind of dive into a couple other communities and stuff. I'm still going to be here on Fridays. Um, Enemy Within this Friday. Yep. Enemy Within. And then when... Um, you know, Call of Cthulhu kicks back into gear. I'm just going to start playing on Sundays again. I'm just giving myself a little bit more time off since I signed up for a bunch of other streams these next couple of months. But, but yeah, nothing okay. personal. I love well, you guys. <laughs> Matt, Matt, that was very good. You did a great job de running that whole thing. Thank you. Yeah, well, no, it was a very awesome. well written adventure. Sean Van Dam in between. It, check it out. It actually yeah. was uh, pretty entertaining. Very much so. Thank you very much for uh, writing that. I like sure. how it started as us doing like some spooky stuff in Halloween and then we carried it on, you know, this long and ended up finishing it. It was awesome. I love horror genre just in general. So So what are we doing well. on Sundays now? We're gonna do some more Zweihander uh for a little bit here. Is there any other community stuff you can highlight with these characters? Yes. Yes. That's, that'd be so we're gonna idea. get into that here. So I'm gonna run the credits here. Thank you for the players for playing with us. Thank you for everybody who joined us. 
and I think we should continue the raid train. I've gotten trying to get in the habit of raiding another channel. I'm looking at other tabletop games that are running right now. And people who don't have maybe a ton of views, let's go in there and give these people some exposure and Follows. drop in and see if they're playing. I found someone who's doing some Traveler. I was trying to look for another Zweihander game or something like that. Wow. But there's some Traveler. Let's go pop in on some Traveler here when we end this. Excellent. So thank you again, everybody. Not we are everybody. back on Tuesday night with Coriolis at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. So we'll see you then.